Hi. I'm My a, name's Woody, and I'm uh, a blah, yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, and blah, then blah, 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 and blah. then companies and places <laughs> figure out that they can monetize yes. mental health, and then they just like want people to share all this crap. But according to the numbers, unruly behavior on airplanes over the last three years is down, and not just a little. It's down seventy five percent in that time. Wow, still higher than it was before COVID. Well, yeah, over the last three years is the, the main part of that. But yeah. better than it was during COVID. The FAA released some stats, said they only got like 1,500 reports since January compared to almost 6,000 <laughs> in that same time in 2021. Well, that's because of the masks. That was the mask. Yeah. Thing. So mm-hmm. the reasons that, uh, you know, people were beating each other up on planes more than they do now, because now there's no mask mandates, which caused most of those fights. Uh, when they were dropped in 2022, they say the incidents fell by 50% in a single week. Wow. Different people are also traveling because when the airlines slashed the prices to get people flying again, that brought a lot of undesirables. <laughs> oh, rookie rookie yeah. flyers who yeah. didn't know the rules. It's like Con Air up there. Well, you we yeah. went from Greyhound to, oh, I can actually fly a plane now. That plus, in general, more vacation, less business travelers. And finally, mm-hmm. the airlines, they're serving booze again. Now, it's the opposite of what they thought. They thought that removing the booze would help the problem. But what happened is people just got drunk in the airport before they got on the plane. <laughs> Nothing and wrong that with just, that. And that just made things worse. Yeah, they're way too well, wasted. Because yeah, honestly, on a plane, when's the last time you ordered six drinks? Never. 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 Oh, yeah, you had to work <laughs> quick, no, man, because you're getting on that flight. I don't yeah. even think they'll serve you six I drinks. Think exactly. Two, maximum. But see, Greg, yeah. but Greg, would you tell, I don't think Gina knows your cocktail for flying. Uh, before flying, two beers and a Xanax. <gasps> oh. And then on the flight, maybe, depending on how long, I would say one or two drinks. Because you oh sound my. that way because you're a nervous flyer. Yeah. yeah or you're I, an odd flyer. You're kind of weird. Yeah, I've, I've gotten better because of mm-hmm. therapy, but I can't drink on planes. That would make, see, again, like, because I'm so afraid of puking, I think that that would, like, supercharge it. Like, really? the altitude and the liquor. So, yeah. when you went to therapy for flying? Yeah. Because, and what do they tell you? Oh, so And it wasn't that things. stuff that I was talking about before about British Airways has like a... Where they explain no, what's I happening. Would, they take you up and you, you, you land at the same airport 40 I minutes later. I love that. No, I, I had to go to therapy because for my last job, we were flying every weekend. Yeah. I mean, all over the place. Oh, uh, with I was, uh, Adam Carolla. With Carolla. I mean, yeah. we were always on the road and I was like, I got to take care of this, man, because this is going to be horrible. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, Greg, I, I'd like to I'd like to work with you. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> but I've told you this before. It sounds so stupid. And I, I think of it every time. This wasn't the thing that uh, that did it for me, but I, it does make me laugh. So I think about it. One time my therapist said, remember, when you're flying, there are three businesses. God's business, the pilot's business and your business. And I go, what does that mean? Like, you know, God, you know, whoever you believe, that kind of just keeps the world doing its thing. You don't worry about that. The pilot went to pilot school. He knows what he's doing. Your business is to sit there and relax and shut up and watch a movie and not cause any trouble. And I, that's and you the paid one for thing. that advice. Yeah, you paid for <laughs> you paid for common sense. <laughs> I have I have like a ten dollar copay, so it's basically free. But I I you really wasted had your to time go, sitting there. I, I didn't that. feel like it was a waste of time because I think of that. I'm like, okay, this is all I got to do is relax. All I got to do is relax. Why the world is getting worse. Look, Madison oh, okay. and I have been talking about this for years now. Therapy is killing everyone. It's yeah. it's ruining the world. Again, my aunt's a therapist. You I, do? You think yeah. that? Oh, yeah. Honestly? So what did we sure. just hear? Yeah, yeah. What did we just hear? But yeah. she no, said but did it, it make, her. Did it make her feel better? It did. did that, see, okay. that's, that's... Like, I think it's silly. I mean, what that's you just not, said. Yeah. I don't think therapy is silly, for I, the record. I don't think th- I don't think therapy is silly at all. I, it's, what I, she I just described is yeah, silly. I think because, it's, yes, it's because overused. Is, but it's exposure therapy. When people use therapy to avoid doing stuff, I totally agree with you. When it's exposure therapy, you can handle this. Get over yourself. It's fantastic. It's giving more people of options not to be able to handle things I themselves. think it's the opposite unless you have a bad therapist yeah, yeah it's yeah it's because it's it's what to what menace point is like we found that trigger warnings cause more stress yeah. I agree no that I agree with I but, totally but that's, agree but, so and, but and, and thinking about your problems a i.e. therapy causes more stress it's but not are, thinking well, about it though it's dealing with it but aren't right. those people the ones who are more like self-diagnosing like those aren't the people who are going to therapy like oh. I, don't, I, I don't think like mm-hmm. the therapist is giving them the idea of a well being aware of what makes you behave a certain way or think a certain way that's just awareness yeah, but like yeah. I think the people who are putting trigger warnings on Netflix—it's insane—and things like that, that's, or that's what we're saying—is it yeah. spills out. It's it, there are certain cases that do definitely need it, but, but 
It does depend but what kind of therapy you go to. Because personally, rampant. I go to cognitive, or I did CBT. go to cognitive <laughs> behavioral therapy, <laughs> which is, we're not really interested on why you're like this. We just want to get you through it and get you back mm. on track. But mm. I think that's great. Yeah, Did they put also, you on medication? No. Okay. So it's, it's not like one of those. No, 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 no. I think it depends on the person who's going to therapy. You have to be willing to do the work and wanting to do the work and wanting to recognize sort of what you're there for. And plenty of people can go to therapy people, and be not interested in <laughs> uh, implementing things in their lives and just themselves. continuously go to therapy. Now, one thing I will yeah. say, you know, to see Bass's point is that and people is. wear all their... Yeah. Uh, hmm. things like uh, sponsorship patches on a NASCAR jumpsuit. Yeah, totally. You know, everybody kind of used to keep, like, every, like it's fine. Like, you yeah. can be aware of it. You can go yeah. get treatment for it or whatever. But, like, you kind of kept that to your, there's, like, politics and, but you're and religion. Right. You kind of kept that yeah. stuff to yourself and you dealt with yes. it in your own way privately. Yeah. Now it's the first yeah. thing. Hi. I'm My a, name's Woody, and I'm uh, a. Blah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, and blah, then, blah, 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 and blah. then companies and places <laughs> figure out that they can monetize yes. mental health, and then they just like want people to share all this crap. All right, let me ask you a question. <laughs> Do you think that the world people would be better? Like, just say everybody saw a therapist, or everybody not every week, or what? But everybody went to. Checked in. Do you think? It would be better or worse. worse. Like the world, you worse. think it'd be worse, and that's what worse. we're talking about. Because like, well, it, it's more getting to that point. You know, yeah. on dating apps, you see like, uh, green flags. I look for is in therapy. Therapy is has is becoming again not all cases is becoming like chiropractic. Where oh, it's the new palm readers, right? <laughs> where it's hey, uh, let's get you in the door, and then you keep coming. This sounds like two yeah. people who've never been to therapy uh, because no. that is no. your that is your hour to deal with it privately and not no, bring it's it into people the world. That, we're people that we're honest with ourselves. Doesn't and sound the people, like it. No, absolutely honest with ourselves, and we know ourselves, and we know why the way we act. And yeah, it's but up nobody to cares us to, why. How do you fix it? Be, fix it by being honest with yourself. No. I feel like I'm very honest with what myself. Your problem, but... Knowing what your problems and your issues are, and but... it's up to you to change the way, change your behavior. Yeah, but if you want to change, you, you don't know to. how. I feel like I'm you very don't know honest how. with You're myself. You're an adult. You're not a child. Yeah, this is this is so. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, but no. I'm saying that, so. Like I have, I have gotten great mm. benefit. Yeah. From and I, and I haven't seen somebody consistently. It's like on and off thing over the years. But I feel like I'm very honest about myself. Uh, that I feel is honesty, but yeah. it turns out isn't necessarily honest. Mm. You know, like um, I'm sitting there like, oh, dude, like what a what a loser. What a but I, I, like, I beat myself up more than so that's not good, even well, though because, I feel like that's true. And so if that becomes a problem, no, how do I work still, myself out of you that? Can, on, again, you I'm can be you can be 100 percent honest with yourself, but it's still up to you to change your behavior or not. Right. But, yeah, right. but the thing but is, like, how do you go about like, like in other words, like, how do I you're snap a out of this? Freaking adult, dude! <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that's not an no, we're, that's talking, not an we're talking no. a brick wall. Menace, have yeah. you been to therapy ever? I've I've been in rooms where other people had to go through therapy, and I was asked to be part of it. So no. Okay, yeah. so okay no. let's, let's, let's get yeah. stuff. I understand what you guys are going yeah, for here. Getting, Again, my aunt is. I'm, I'm, I'm asking. I'm just curious. My I'm a practicing practicing therapist has been for decades, and it's a lot like we talk about. There's too many lawyers, and so they go out creating lawsuits and looking for problems. Same issue with therapists. There are obviously good reasons for it like i said but we pumped out so many and now they're spilling over another i can see that and, uh -huh. you know count school counselors and things like that where mm -hmm. now people are looking for problems looking for emotional issues looking to put people in therapy yeah, who so don't need can, to be in therapy yeah, to make Again, you keep on paying for so it like the chiropractor analogy applies there does therapy have a place mm -hmm. yeah just, i just said it five times i'm, yeah. I'm just clarifying <laughs> same here Crystallize it. i think the problem is everybody's biased about their own self-view so what you're saying, Woody, is you're honest with yourself, but your view of what you're doing might Correct. be wrong. So you might be saying something like, oh, I had an argument with my wife and I was being supportive. But in reality, maybe you weren't. And that's what the therapist the third is. Party. Why is so, it that here's a question because mm -hmm. I can't figure out the answer no matter how honest and I'm looking at myself and looking like my mm -hmm. thing has always been I get nervous and I find myself getting like really anxious and my sleep is all messed up. When I feel like things are going too well, mm -hmm. I, all the, I'm like, all right, all right, bring it on. What is yeah, it? Fix when, it. Where the you anvil's know? gonna mm -hmm. yeah. Drop and so I, it, it 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 prevents yeah. me from ever enjoying when things are good. And then when things are bad, it's almost like, whew, okay, well this this is like more the this, baseline. Yeah, this is reality. This what is I was like, just experiencing, yeah. I didn't enjoy because right. that wasn't real. It's like I don't know the answer to that. So like that's why I figure like, okay, maybe somebody can help me out with that. 
I should have just asked Menace and Seabass. They could have just set me straight. Menace and Seabass. You're an adult. Because that's your that's your personality type. That's where you feel more comfortable. Yeah, but that you think people can't change. But is that healthy? Is that yeah, maybe like, for am, am, you? Maybe it, for you it is. If it, that that's what makes you happy, it doesn't I'm, make him happy. I'm saying right. it's, it's, it's not a happy because you can't enjoy mm -hmm. those things. Mm -hmm. You can't YOLO like Greg's been yeah. doing. <laughs> <laughs> also, right? talking about all that stuff is mad boring. <laughs> that's also yeah. true. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it's <laughs> yeah, if it's your own stuff. Yeah. Let's like, talk about therapy. Well, I'm thinking if it's your own stuff. So dumb. Well, I think what Menace <laughs> is kind of saying, if I can help little buddy here. Thank you. You're very uh, well spoken on this stuff. Is that therapy has infected society? Therapeutic language has infected society. That I agree yeah. with. Where yeah. now, like, if Menace stubs his toe, that's a trauma that he has uh. to then deal with and unpack. <laughs> and as opposed yeah. to what Menace, I think, is saying, yeah. and not maybe as eloquently, is. You know, it's no, it's, it's I don't have to dwell over every single thing. Everything is civil. Correct. Well, is, I agree. Is, with yeah. that. I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. Yeah. But but because the therapeutic language mm. has and people and this the other thing about therapy is because unlike actual medicine, you're not like a, a real doctor's doing something to your body. He's sewing you up, giving you drugs that have active ingredients. So when you go to a therapist, you think after maybe a couple of years, especially, oh, I, I it's just talking. I can talk to people, and then you go out and you start therapi uh, therapizing. So use a word. Correct? That's yeah. it. Yeah. You don't just become you don't just become a therapist because you feel like it. Right, you but, have they, to but you start training. using. But you start using their language. Yeah, they can ignore those yeah. people. Well, no, but no, but I'm saying is that, and then that's what I'm talking about. How everything's a trauma. Everybody's a narcissist. Yeah. Everything is. But and, if you, and, it, and it infects the whole like so, language. But society wise, fine. But if you just focus on your own issues, like me or Woody or whatever, being like, I'm going to spend this hour and I'm going to try and get this figured out because I know I can live a happier, better, easier, greater life, and then come back. But out for some reason, be you better. don't because you keep on going back to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I don't think he's getting it. I, yeah. No, no, I no. You just don't get it. It guys. just. Well, it doesn't. No. Yeah, no, do I you think it's a one and done? Do I, think I mean, it's you're rewiring your synapses in your brain. It takes more than an hour. Look, okay. I think everybody could benefit from it. I think uh, Menace would probably learn a lot about himself. Oh, yeah. I, I'm you know? well I mean, aware you gotta, of myself. But I'm saying, but <laughs> it's you, up you, to me to the change, though. If I yeah, want I'm not to. saying that you guys sit around and be like what Seabass is talking about, being a victim and, and whatever. Mm -hmm. I think you you might find it actually kind of fascinating. Like, you, oh, I never thought about know. it that way. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And it could open up a whole other I, I, you know, idea. A whole new world. Yeah, right. In a way. Yeah, in a way. I yeah. that is in a way. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Maybe I'll grow then, a I mean, vagina too. Oh, right. Oh. You, you should See, be so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> if that was the case, <laughs> like I said, if I had a vagina for a day, I'd be sticking yeah. everything up That's there. Right. Yeah. Well, I right. think what, okay, anyway, I think we gotta take a break. Anyway. Push right. of America. Yeah, yeah, bro. Thank you. More Woody shows next. Thank you.